name is Victoria and in today's video we'll be showing you some tips on how to maintenance your clarinet. One thing guys I do recommend is before you even touch your instrument, go ahead and wash your hands with some water and soap. In any case you're not near a scene, you can go ahead and use some hand sanitizer as well. Just because um, you don't know where your hands have been and you are touching the instrument and we don't, you, we don't want you guys to get sick. Also with this whole pandemic, we have to be extra careful. So the first things first, we're gonna go ahead and remove our wreath from our mouthpiece and place it in our wreath case. Right, put it away. Now we're gonna remove our ligature and put it to the side. At this time, go ahead and grab your upper joint with your left hand with your right hand, you're gonna twist off the barrel and place it to the side, just like that. Now, I'm pretty sure you have noticed that your instrument is dripping with spit. So an important thing that you have to do is that after every rehearsal, you're gonna have to swap your instrument. You can either use a cotton swap or you can use a silk swap. Now one thing I do recommend is that every swap comes with this wet light thing at the end. This one specifically is cotton. They sell some metal ones. I recommend you don't get those at all. For the thing is that this goes inside your instrument and that metal can damage or scratch the inside of part of the clarinet and that can mess your ear intonation. This swap specifically, it is too short. So if I put it inside, I won't be able to take it out by the bell. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna remove the upper joint and the lower joint apart and put them side to side. Make sure you always put the keys upwards, never down, or you can damage the keys if someone were to smash it or if something were to happen to it. So now grabbing our swab, all you're gonna do is just you're gonna place it inside the clarinet, let the weight go down and just swap. Go ahead and do it about four to five times, um, depending on how much you played. Many of the times, if you played um, more than two hours of practice, go ahead and swap it a few times more. What I like to do is I sometimes grab the swap and I just go ahead and go in the middle. Like go ahead and just put it right here. Be careful, do not touch the, the cork or you can damage it the same way over here on this side. All right, just like that, and I place it back inside. The same, you're gonna do the same thing with the lower joint. Put it through the clarinet, grab it by the bell, and just like that. That's all you're gonna do. Now with the lower joint, I like to grab the swab as well, and then just clean it right here, because sometimes it doesn't collect enough spit. The swab doesn't collect the spit that's here. You have to like clean it really well. Now with your mouthpiece and your barrel, a thing that many clarinet players um, are warned about is that your mouthpiece is a very delicate thing. Especially this upper part, if you're not careful, this can easily break and it becomes unplayable and you are gonna have to purchase a new one. So one thing that I was taught is that you always put the weight thing in the bottom of the barrel like this and let it out by the mouthpiece and instead of pulling it out, all you're gonna do is just go like that. In small movements, no rush. And we are, when you are done, you pull it out the same way that you pull it in, like this. Be careful with your mouthpiece. Sometimes um, it collects a lot of sweat that you, it can leave the, the swab really wet. I recommend you let it out for a little bit just so it can dry out, dry up. Make sure that your swab, you clean it at least once a week. For like I said, a lot of bacteria can get up into this and when you are cleaning your instrument, that bacteria goes in you and you can get terribly sick. Now you may ask, why do I need to swab? What's the reason for it? Like, can I just leave it like that? The thing that happens and especially with wood instruments, with wood clarinets, is that your own saliva, if it's left there, it can rotten the inside of the clarinet. Since it's made out of wood, it starts to rotten and it starts to become unplayable. And the thing is, who wants to play on a dirty instrument? No one wants to. Also, the thing with the clarinet is that whenever you are cleaning it, do not 
do not try to get close to the pads that's the thing um the clarinet is very sensitive to the pads these pads especially if you don't clean the instrument frequently with the saliva they start getting rotten or getting stuck together or they fall out um, if any of those three cases might happen, you have to take it to get fixed. You can't fix it yourself. Or they're very delicate and this is what basically makes the sound out of the clarinet whenever you're pressing down keys. So it's very, very, very important that you take care of them especially because they're very expensive to fix. Now that I've showed you an everyday thing that you have to do every time you finish playing, you will have to swap. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to detail clean your clarinet. I recommend you detail clean your clarinet at least once a month um, in any case if you are sick then I do recommend you do it once a week in any case you got sick on Monday go ahead and do it on Friday and then do it on Monday again I mean I have some things that I use to clean my clarinet everyone's different these, these are just the things that I feel that work for me the best so I wanted to show you guys the first thing you're gonna do is that you're gonna clean your mouthpiece now the clarinet is very very specific when you're cleaning it because it's not like other instruments for example the trumpet my brother's a trumpet player and the way that he cleans his instrument is that he pulls it all apart and he could put it inside of a tub of hot hot water with some um, instrument cleaning soap the clarinet you can't do that for it. it's made out of wood and water can really damage the the wood part of clarinets and also your pads so how do you clean it well first you start with your mouthpiece you're gonna go ahead and grab a cup and you can go ahead and use um, something acidic you can use apple cider vinegar you can use vinegar white vinegar you could use um, lemon juice or you can even use mouthwash make sure that you use the non-alcoholic one for the uh, the alcohol can dry up your mouthpiece and it could start damaging it in the long term so what we're gonna do is that you're just gonna go ahead and Pour in the vinegar. Now, make sure you only fill up to where it covers this much of the mouthpiece. Do not overfill it for the cork. The cork can't get wet and it can damage the instrument as well. So, just go ahead and put a small amount until you can go ahead and place until. It reaches enough to not touching the cork and then leave it off for the side for now. Now with the keys, sometimes it gets a lot of gunk in there that it messes up with your intonation. For example, if you're playing either a C, a D, or an E, um, sometimes you hear the part. That's because there's either dirt in there or there's leftover saliva that you are going to have to remove. So the way that I remove it is that I just get a small Q-tip and all you're doing is that you're just going in circles and around the key, just like that. Make sure you do it gently, do not touch any of the pads around, especially right here, right here there's a pad right here and there's a pad over here. So don't touch them, just go around like that and all the holes, all the finger holes. Don't forget your F key, just like that. See, see all that gunk that's there? I recommend you do this once a month, or at least once every three months, depending on how much you use your instrument. Now I'm pretty sure that a lot of you guys are asking yourself right now, um, with this whole pandemic, is that how can I disinfect my instrument? Are there germs on my instrument? Like how can i clean it right now the clarinet you can't just get well, with any instrument you just can't get bleach and dip it in or spray it on so one thing that clarinet players do use is alcohol wipes the only thing with that guys is that you have to be really really careful do not over excess, excess it for these some clarinets these silver keys are just dripped in silver and with alcohol, it starts drying them out and starts to oxidize and they become copper. This also damages intonation and over the time, your keys start to become hard to play and it becomes unplayable and you're gonna have to get a new instrument. So one thing that I do is that make sure 
The alcohol wipe does not touch the wood at all, for it can over dry the wood. And again, cotton tenations. So all you're gonna do is you're just gonna grab it and just, just lightly brush it over where your fingers have touched it, all the finger key. One thing that I learned that is strongly recommended that at least once a year, you're supposed to oil up your instrument. Why you may ask? Well, some of the clarinets are made out of wood. So the oil is supposed to help keep the moisture in and not help it crack. So it won't crack in the long run. I recommend you use a silk swab instead of a cotton swab. What you're gonna do is that you're gonna grab your swab and you're just gonna put three small drops of the oil in it and you're just gonna rub it around like this. You're not gonna drench your clarinet in oil. All you're gonna do is just put a small protective layer on it. So once you have your swab nice and good with the oil, you're just gonna pass it once through the clarinet. That's all you need. Then for the outside of the clarinet, you're gonna grab some cotton, cotton pads and the same way, very, very, very little oil, very little. And all you're gonna do is just pass over the clarinet like that, just like that. Do not, again, do not drench it in oil. It's just to have a small protection on it. Also guys, to make sure that there's no oil touching any of the pads when you pass the swap through, go ahead and get a paper towel. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a small piece like this and just put it slightly over the pad. Be very gentle guys, for they are very, very delicate. And you're just gonna place it like that so when you press the swab, you're, you're not afraid that that oil is gonna get on the pad and damage. Going back with our mouthpiece, many of the times people use a mouthpiece brush or they use a toothbrush to clean it. I frankly don't like it because I feel that if you're brushing the mouthpiece, you can scratch it and damage it for you don't want to buy a new mouthpiece guys you want to take care of your instrument as long as possible for you know that they don't come cheap a clarinet it's a very expensive instrument especially since you're spending about 30 to 40 bucks for reeds you don't want to pay the extra to have it repaired so especially with the mouthpiece so all you're going to do is you're going to grab you can go ahead and grab a q-tips and what I like to do is I just like to go inside and just go like that with the cotton. Just to just to make sure that I'm touching all the little corners inside there to make sure that they're all clean. See? And even though we pass the swab in, it still comes out with dirt. Then for the outside, I just grab a towel, a towelette, and I just, just clean it like in any case that you don't like the vinegar taste of it, you can go ahead and just use mouthwash instead. But again, guys, you, with no alcohol. Make sure it says no alcohol. Hey guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you learned a few things about your clarinet. And I wish you luck to your clarinet future up ahead.